What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video we're going to be talking about eSports Boxing Club of course because I'm trying to cover really like important things from the gameplay that I experienced. I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to make a whole video about like really minute details. I made a video about the loose movement which I know is something you guys really want to know and today we're going to be talking about the knockouts and knockdowns more specifically. Uh, that I experienced when I played eSports Boxing Club, because that's one thing that's probably been requested more than anything else. I just want to remind people that the build I played is not final. It's not even, I believe, the most current build that they actually have available. Um, so just keep that in mind through some of the things that I mentioned about these knockdowns. And building onto that, in this build there was no pure KO, so you wouldn't just bang and the ref would just wave it off. There was knockdowns at all times, no matter what. So just take that into consideration. So for today, we're going to be focusing on the knockdowns. Um, some of them, were, you know, you, you'd knock an opponent down so badly that the mini game was like almost impossible to achieve. So in a sense, but there was always a knockdown. Uh, so yeah, I thought we'd talk about it today so you guys kind of get an idea of where they're at. So let's start with the knockdowns to the head. Now, it's an early build, so they were pretty decent. Things like straights and jabs weren't really powerful enough to knock someone down. Hurt, you know, stun someone, yes, but not really, you know, catch them with a straight and put them down, which is a shame because I love putting a straight down the pipe. I'd have loved to have bing, bing, and drop someone. But unfortunately, we didn't. It was always with the hooks or the uppercuts. But going on with that, you know, the hooks and uppercuts, the drops to the head, they do look great. You know, there is not a preset animation for the drops to the head. So, for example, you know, we're like this. I go bang. The hook say hits me here. My fighter will... You know, the shoulder will follow, the arm will follow, this arm will go this way, the head will go this way, and then you'll fall bang like that. So the hooks work well, so you know, whether it be like, you know, the hook goes over the top of the head, they kind of, you know, it wasn't like a complete crumble, like in UFC 2, for example, where the body's crumbled. This was, it, it felt a bit like, not scripted, but it felt like it wasn't as ragdoll as maybe it should be. It was like, no matter where the hook hits, like on the head, it will always go like this and follow that momentum. They may land differently on their stomach. They may land on their back or their side and I kind of like roll. But they, they, there was never like one where, say, you know, you'd you'd crack someone, bang, over like the top there and they would like crumble like forward. It was always, they would go with the motion of the hook. So for an early build, it, gives, it gave me an idea like, okay, they're on the right tracks. They're just like with the crumbles or with like a nasty, I suppose these were knockdowns as well. So that could be, that could be the reason that it's a knockdown. So you just kind of get hit, you fall down, you're like, oh shit, you're not going to crumble perhaps. But, you know, I'd like to definitely see like more, we have seen knockouts actually where fighters do crumble completely. So I think that that stuff is in a different build and the build we had was like, you know, relatively simple head knockdowns. Still looked great. Now... The uppercuts are, you know, an uppercut, they didn't land a lot, but when they did land and they did knock someone out, it was the same thing, you know, bang, big uppercut, big uppercut, hit your hair or hit your hair, you know, if you're like looking down and it followed the same path, you know, you'd get, you'd say be blocking, you'd get hit with that big shot and you'd, you'd fall back like that. But it, like I said, it didn't look like a scripted fallback like in, like in Champion, for in Final Champion or Round 4 where it would go like this and you'd, you'd it, 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 it did, you know, like unthrow and a shot, I hit him with an uppercut and they would... They would fall back and the arm wouldn't just go suddenly stiff. You know, the body would fall relatively well, but they'd always fall kind of perfectly on their back. So like I said, in the future, I'd like to see maybe different different crumble animations, different falling animations. But for, you know, basic build, early build, like headshot knockdowns, it looked really solid, to be honest. And, you know, it made sense. You know, it, it followed the flow of the punch. Now what it comes down to really is they just need to get like the crumble of the knees and the crumble of the hips to kind of this motion as opposed to always this motion so they're definitely on the right track with it it just needs to they just need to add like that little bit more ragdoll that crumbles the knees but that could be maybe saved for exclusive knockouts as opposed to just like a basic knockdown in like the fourth round so you know that's kind of it, it, it was it's difficult because we'd like we didn't have pure knockouts in this build so it's tough to know like maybe if i had say gone bang big hook and he'd have crumbled hit his face like this out cold then obviously then it would have made sense but I suppose because he got back up it looked like a drop that he was like it was like exaggerated drop for him to get back up now we'll go on to the body shots 
And these were without a doubt my favourite. Obviously, you know, you are limited with, with shots that you can land on, on, on the human body in boxing. You've obviously got hook to the body, as, you know, big hook like this. You've got the kind of the mix of the uppercut and the lead hook where you kind of twist it, you know, as diagonal, as opposed to like this hook, you've got kind of this hook. You've got obviously uppercut to the solar plex, jab to the solar plex, straight to the solar plex, like, you know, the whole ab area, really, not just the solar plexus, kind of the whole area. Now... These are really cool, and these are the one knockdowns in games where I, where we would hit it and it would land. And obviously, like I mentioned before, the body works a little bit overpowered, but it, you know, the, 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 it did work well. But these were like so vicious. People watching would go, oh, or be like, oh, fight. Like I was watching, or I'd hit someone and go, cool, I got you. You know, that it, it, it's like you, you feel it in the controller, you feel it on the screen, and it really, you go, cool, fuck. And for example, you know, you've got like, say you, you slip, bang, the fighter will, you know, what one version of say a hook to the body is they obviously crumble down, but they take a knee, glove on the mat, one knee on the mat, they've got one foot on the mat as if they're proposing, but the gloves, their gloves on the, and they're holding here and heads, heads kind of tucked down like that, which is brilliant. Now the uppercut one, say you're on the inside, bang, big uppercut to the, to the solar plex. That's that's a different one. That's just completely crumble down on the ground like on all fours, struggling to breathe. Now whether or not the animations are just mixed, but those are the ones that stuck out the most to me. Like the one where we're on the inside, bang, uppercut to the body, and he crumbled down both knees, and you know, like oh, and it really you feel it and you see it. You see him like ugh, crumble over, and you know, with the lead hook, like I said, you know they'll take that knee and like you know. Hold, hold, you know, almost like hold it, like tuck their forearm into their their stomach and, and hold it. And it really works well. Like the, the body shots are the oomph they need to be when you land them. Uh, the head shots are a little bit, you know, more, uh, they're, they're good. But in comparison to the body shots, they're kind of lacklustre. So the, the, the head knockdowns work well, they really do. But compared to the, the level of, of how good the body drops are, they've got to level the head drops up to meet them in the middle so they're both as satisfying as each other dropping someone in the head was like you know nice one dropping someone in the body's like oh fuck that looked painful like it's a real different feeling for the body and i want to be able to you know like say slip bang big shot to the head and someone cr crumbles and you go oh fuck, i cracked you with that one so you know the, the the body shots are right where they need to be they just need to just i don't know not not like not add more animations like scripted but they just need to you know Add the variety of, you know, when you get here. Obviously, if you get here on this side, your, your fighter will do the same thing. Fall to a knee and kind of, you know, and they, they do fidget on the ground. They don't just stand on the knee, like, their knee, like, lifeless. They do kind of, like, fidget and, and you know, that cuts to the cutscene. And they're, like, you know, kind of get trying to get up as you're doing the mini game. So it does work well. The knockdowns are, are pretty nice for what we play. But the body shot knockdowns are a whole other level above the head knockdowns. But for the build I played, you know, I'd like to see more. I, I would like to have experienced KOs as opposed to always knockdowns. But we just need a bit more variety and a bit more, you know, crumble, like especially like in the knees of when you, 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 because when, when you rock someone, their knees buckle. Like sometimes the knees will buckle and they'll like, you know, ooh. So it does, it does exist. It's just, you know, I just like to see with the knockdowns to the head, I'd like to see maybe, or knockouts to the head. Just a bit more crumble, a bit more ragdoll, as opposed to just it following... Sorry, guys, this screen's gone off again. As opposed to it following the... Just the motion of the fist constantly. Like, that's cool. Like, a big shot. The head is going to follow and the body's going to... But, you know, sometimes people will get hit as they may be turning this way. So they'll get hit, their jaw will go this way, and they'll kind of go bang, and then just, like, fall down. So that's kind of the way I'm thinking of it. But from what I played, the build I played, very impressed on the right track, the body shots really give you that that satisfaction, and I think you guys will really enjoy it when you eventually experience it yourselves. Uh, but I just wanted to cover this, just give you guys a little bit of a, an idea and a taste of what the knockdowns are like in Esports Boxing Club, and uh, yeah, uh, I just thought I'd cover this one because I know this is something people really want to hear about, and you know, people can search specifically, I suppose, throughout the channel to find things they want to know. Let me know if there's anything you want to know in the comments down below, I'll be sure to try and cover it. If not, I'll just reply to it in the comments. Thank you as always for watching, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.